Hello. Ooh. This is. What's that you got there then? It's your fantastic air contraction machine. What? Your air cooling contraption. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much for that. You're That's... welcome. Get on my way. <laughs> Ooh, okay. That looks fine. Mmm. Nice legs, missus. <laughs> Let's have a look at this then. What have we got here? Okay. What is it? It's one of them air cooling things, isn't it? Um, now let's try and explain this. You put your cool box on the bottom. Okay. Um, it's in the washing machine dial. Okay. And then you've got three outlets here, uh, which will uh, bring the cool air out. You've got a handle to take, uh, take it off. Um, you've got the two fans for the inlet air. Um, you've, uh, currently you've got a car battery on it with 12 volts. Okay, but this air contraption machine is not only 12 volts, it's actually 220 volts as well because we've actually got a power inverter there and we need that because the fans are 220 volts. They're not actually 12 volt fans. Uh, a lot of people use 12 volt fans, but I wanted to use, I wanted a, a bit more power, so I've got 220 volts. Anyway, there's a few little bits and bobs on here as well. Here, obviously, we've got the mains inlet going in uh, to feed the fans from the power inverter, which is going to the 12 volt battery. So at the, at the present, we're on 12 volts, but, and here we have the switch for fan number one, and here we have a switch for fan number two, and here we have a switch for the 12 volt outlet, okay? So um, here we have the battery uh, indicator to indicate how much is left on the battery uh, and here we have uh, the speed controller for the fans. Now on at 12 volts let's see how it works. Okay first of all put the power inverter on. Excuse my shaky hand I'm a bit old. Okay, now we've got the power inverter on. You'll also notice on this power inverter, you've got a USB. So you can recharge your batteries. If you're out in the desert and you're, not, you're really hot, then basically you've got everything here. It's your personal private aircon unit. Now, let's put fan number one on. Okay, you can hear the noise. And then put the speed control on, and here we go. And fan number two. Swing the other way around, there we go. So, here's the speed control. Regulates the speed. Off. Off with the fans. So, obviously variable speeds. But they must have very good uh, axles on them, or whatever you call them, on their fans, because uh, they take ages to stop. Anyway, let's get them going again. Here we go, it's a bit of speed. Just and obviously the business end. Here we have now through choice. not to make it with wood. It took me quite a lot to do that. I only had strips of wood. And I just glued them all together. 
individually. As you can see, a bit of work going into this. Okay. Um, that's cold and I haven't even got any ice in it at the moment. I'll show you that later because I want to give you uh, information on how cold it gets. These elastic straps here, it's got uh, a seal on here to seal it to the box so that no air actually comes out between the top of the unit and the box because it's obviously not the original top but this elastic is obviously keeping it from well it's uh, giving it that extra little bit of help extra seal okay so anything more to explain on that that's the 12 volt bit uh, this handle basically when uh, you finish with the unit for the summer this you unclip the battery and this basically flips up because it's on a hinge a couple of hinges here hinge one hinge two flippy flippy and then you can take this whole unit lift it up lift it up and just take it into your loft and leave it for next year just hang it on the wall out of the way so it's not taking up any room in your loft um, with reference to the rolly thing that my beautiful assistant uh, helped at the start uh, basically that makes it obviously more portable because it's not particularly light this thing but basically you can wheel it around the house or wheel it around I mean I live in a very hot part of Extremadura uh, of Spain which is called Extremadura and um, that's why I built it and basically up here there's a lot of people the locals in, the, in my village who own properties up the hill which is just at the back of the village and uh, the electricity doesn't actually get to them so hence this now I've used this on loads of occasions and it's been absolutely excellent although believe it or not we actually have got aircon here you know not a problem but bear in mind that that aircon unit up there is about what two and a half three and a half thousand watts something like that and I know for a fact that this is well less than a hundred it's something like I don't know it's about 35 watts each yeah uh, now, you know your uh, normal Coke bottles, uh, one and a half litres, uh, in the second video I will uh, demonstrate them uh, and show you the actual temperatures we can actually get down to, uh, but I can put 10, I've got them in the freezer right now, I can put 10 units, uh, 10 bottles in this uh, blue box, cool box, which by the way is a Spanish cool box and um, sorry to say this, the quality is not brilliant and uh, I don't even think, I, you know, I know it's got two layers of plastic but I don't actually think it's insulated. So bearing that in mind, we've got an outside terrace upstairs and uh, at the beginning of July which is quite hot. I mean, at the moment, our temperature is, what is it? Can you see that? Where are we? 26.3 uh, in here, 28.6 outside. Well, it's pretty cool today. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, beginning of July. It was, uh, it was hot, a lot hotter than this. And we were outside on the terrace and I fill this with the uh, 10, one and a half litre Coke bottles. Well, here it's gaseosa. It's like a lemonade type stuff. And um, believe it or not, we had a couple of drinks. We went to bed. Obviously, I turned the machine off. 
Uh, next day, late that afternoon, uh, I went back and there was still ice in the bottles. 24 hours later, and so we used it for that night as well, with the same bottles. I was absolutely amazed. Not a problem at all. And just think if you had the right box on this, as opposed to this uh, one that is not, uh, you know, doesn't really have quality. You put a quality box on there, or even insulate this one a bit, then uh, you've really got it made. You're cooking on gas, as I say. Whoops, don't knock it over here. That's really bad. Now, one thing I need to mention is, as <clears throat> you've probably noticed, I'm using the car battery, okay? It's my old mini battery, yeah? This is no good, because car batteries are purely to start your vehicle, okay? What you need is something like, if you, if you want to take it out for, uh, you know, uh, six hours in your sort of holiday home that hasn't got electricity or something like that, your car battery would be no good. It would be flat as a pancake, I'd imagine. But uh, what you need is a leisure battery. Something like they use in caravans, boats, things like that. I mean, uh, I'm not too sort of genned up on them, but you need something like a 110 ampere hour uh, leisure battery, something like that. Um, I was thinking of putting a solar panel on there, you know. <laughs> I mean, I know it's overkill, this whole thing, but I only did it for a laugh, so, you know, you have to bear with me. I've, I've got a lot of time on my hands. You understand that? Old man, retired. Do you feel sorry for me? No, I don't blame you. So what do you think of it? Anyway, if you like it, please uh, tell me. Now, now that I've finished it, I uh, plan to take it all apart and use all the components for my next funky project. But this is called, what's it called again? My, um, I've forgotten. Anyway, air contraption. I mean, it's air contraption, you know? I mean, there's a lot of them on eBay, a lot of brilliant ones, and that's where I got all of my ideas from. So thank you very much, every single person who's made these kind of units. You know, I'll tell you what, this is really efficient, really, really efficient, you know, I mean, I've, I've had really good use out of it, I mean, I can sit in my living room, uh, this living room, it gets to, you know, the mid-30s, late 30s degrees uh, Celsius, pretty often, and uh, I can sit in here and just point it to me, and basically, Watch this. I can point it to me, and I, because I've got these as well, here, tubes, directional, and just point it my way, and uh, super cool. You're talking cool. I've just put this piece of um, special Spanish toilet roll on this one, just to see, show you the blow factor. Look at that. I mean, what do you think of that? I mean, that's just through one of them. Oh, come on. Come on, toilet roll. You're meant to be acting now. There we go. Don't let me down. You were all right before. There we go. Look at that. That's off one of them. Now, just imagine if I had... Oh. Three bits of long toilet roll hanging. I mean, you can, you can imagine the... Uh, how I come out of that. <laughs> Try to. Believe me. Come on. Lift yourself up, boy. Left, right, left, right. Anyway, thank you very much. See you next video. Oh, I think I'll carry on whilst that's still showing itself. Okay, that'll do.